G'day everyone. One of the downsides with dealing with JSON documents or any kind of large scale amount of unstructured data, if you want to piecemeal make changes to it, then in the past it often meant dragging the entire document out, making the appropriate change and sending the entire document back in to wherever it was stored. That's obviously not particularly efficient. In 19C, we introduced the JSON merge patch function in order to address some of those limitations. In 21C, which most people probably haven't seen yet, we added the JSON transform function, which makes this whole process much, much easier and much more efficient. Let's have a look at a quick example from 21C before we look at what's even coming in the later release. So I'll create a table here called customers and obviously the key column of interest here is the C data, which is a JSON column. And let's insert a simple row and it's me, my name is Connor and I live in the city of Perth. This is stuff you can already do in 21C. I can use the JSON transform facility to do things like set to set new attributes. I can rename attributes, I can rename the name attribute and I can append so I can actually add more information to the JSON structures. If there's an existing JSON array in there, I can add elements to it. All this stuff is available in 21C. Having done that, I can run JSON serialize now to actually see the data come back. And you can see it's no longer just my name and the city. I've got the zip code, I've got last updated and some other information, including the friends array. This is all available in 21C. But let's now look at what's coming in Oracle Database 23AI, even more power to the JSON transform function. In this case, I'm doing an update. Once again, I'm calling JSON transform. There's a new keyword here called prepend. I can actually take elements and add them at the start of an array. I don't always just to have them as being the suffix. I can now choose where I want those elements to go in there. So having done that, I've prepended uh, Melanie and I can see now that in my friends array, Melanie appears before Dom as my list of friends. In this next example, I'm once again doing a JSON transform update. This time I'm using another new keyword called copy and copy simply brings a JSON fragment and replaces some existing content. So in this case, I'm replacing the friends tag with new, new set of friends, Maria and Dom in this case. I run that and you can see the entire array has now been replaced just with two elements, Maria and Dom. One of the cool things also coming in at 23AI is we could argue we're bringing a little bit of relational set theory into our handling of JSON documents. I've got another command here called the union command. And as you can see, I'm now bringing into that list of friends two JSON entries, Dom and Jennifer. Now, of course, Dom was already in there. I don't want to get a duplicate entry for Dom in that array. And as you can see, because we did a union, and anyone knows from relational databases that union removes the duplicates, I've now got just the three entries, Maria, Dom, it wasn't duplicated, and Jennifer as well. So I'm using a bit of set theory now to do some JSON facilities. If we move on to the next example, I can get some more things that you would conventionally think more as being relational theory as opposed to things we would do with JSON. Inside my JSON transform, I can now do a count. I can do some sort of aggregation facilities. I'm gonna introduce a new tag called friends count. And if we look at the result, we can see we've added a new tag right at the bottom there saying that you've got three friends, Maria, Dom, and Jennifer, and we've got the count stored there. So without having to drag it out into say JSON table to get the rows and columns out there and then do a count and then merge it back in, we can now do some aggregations directly straight in the JSON processing. Let's continue on. In this example, I'm using some more aggregations. I've got the min and the max and the average, things that I would normally associate with numeric data types. Once again, you can see we've added some new JSON tags there at the end. I've got the friends average, the friends high, etc. This is one of the cool things that the, the more we can do JSON work directly against the JSON, rather than having to bring the JSON out, pull it apart to find the attributes we're after, do the operations on those attributes, and then put it all back together as JSON. If we can just do it directly against the JSON, it's obviously far easier to code and much more efficient for the database. So in Oracle Database 23 AI, a lot more processing in JSON transform to make your life easier as a JSON developer. Enjoy.